bestseller elements of style designing a home and a life it is by Erin gates it's a beautiful coffee table book as you can see the cover has a black and white chair with gold in really nice i guess credenza and it has some beautiful decor styled nicely on the top and um I was looking at this picture, it's so pretty, and it screams like spring, especially if you like a lot of color. I find it to be um, very kind of, I guess, eclectic. There's a lot going on, and I want to sort of um, create this look on my credenza. Um, I won't be using the colors here, but I'll be using, my, incorporating, you know, my style, my black and white and things like that and just using it and this would be for a lot of you who are viewing me if you don't have a bar cart this is a really nice way to display some of your um your wines and your different alcohol beverages and you know nicely style and decorate it with florals or what if whatever sort of um decorative accessories that you have i won't be using any books i'm just gonna keep mine you know very modern very simple with a little glam and bling and um, just recreate this look. I was also looking at another one. I'll find it and I'll be right back. So I was, uh, so I was also looking at this one. It's a really simple dining room table styling with just you know a vase and some florals, a smaller vase with some florals, I think, a bottle of wine, some glasses some dinner plates and I would guess that's a napkin or something like that so I kind of want to create this look and share it with you guys so that is what I'll be doing in today's video there's also another one that you can create by your dining room table as well if you don't have a bar cart display some of your beverages you know and add whatever sort of um decorative accessories that you like okay so um let us create this first look and see how it turns out guys so guys i wanted to show you what i've done so far so in the picture they have like two plants anchoring both sides of the credenza and i've kept my lamps which i usually always have there I removed the round mirror and I've added a canvas art. This is a beautiful black and white canvas art with uh, silver framing. They have two small artwork pieces in their picture. And then they have some sort of um, decorative item. I'm not really sure what type of animal it is. Seeing that we're approaching spring slash Easter, I've added a bunny with this sort of iridescent type of color. I've added a black vase that I thrifted, some greenery with some florals. In their picture, they have this orange vase with some pink and sort of white hydrangeas. They have an orange, sort of an orangey yellow tray. And I've added this white tray with some bling, which is similar to the one that they have. It's just not the same color. Cause as you guys know, I'm going more for my black and white. So that's what it's looking so far. And it's kind of hard to put you guys up on a tripod, a tripod to like show you step by step because my tripod actually, the ring light actually broke off of it. So I'm just holding this in my hand and I'm just showing you as I go how it's looking so in the picture they've added lots of um alcohol beverages that i showed you guys in the first clip and i'm going to try and find some instead of adding a vase with some greenery i am going to add a small vase with some 
colored florals to sort of um, duplicate this look because I've already added greenery with some white flowers there. I'm going to add a small vase to the opposite side with some um, colored um, florals to um, substitute the look that they have there. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, I know, I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh, so you wanna talk again? But it's time I do this my way. So guys, before I show you my final look close up, I'm gonna just um, share with you, um, as you can see a little bit closer, I think it looks like a some sort of bunny that's there. And then they added like some lemon and things like that. I don't have lemons at the moment. So like I said, I'm substituting mines for other things. So, and then to the side, um, I think that's just, some kind of board they have two small glasses and some cut up lemons but that is the overall look and let me show you guys my final look i was yours for the taking guess i needed a home but if i'm not mistaken you were good on your own Well guys, this is my final look of how I've styled my credenza and I've added this cute Buddha which brings in feng shui. I've added a black DIY vase from Dollarama, some florals with a bit of color to represent what's in the photograph. Um, I've kept my two lamps, like I mentioned, to anchor both sides as they did with the two plants. And I've added a similar tray, but something that goes well with my aesthetics. I've added a candle. And I've added these champagne flutes that I recently got from Winners. They were two for... $14.99 and I have a total of four. I've added some alcohol which represents some of the items that they have placed in their tray. The beautiful black and white canvas 
which I um, removed the mirror to add some sort of um, artwork to represent the two artwork that they have in their photo as well. And then on this side, I've added my thrifted black vase with some greenery and mixed with some white roses. This would be sort of like what I would do for spring, which is more of a modern look. And um, that is also a really beautiful color that you can also add for spring if you are into color. And then here I switched out the iridescent bigger bunny that I had and I placed these two cute um, black and white ones. And these were a re recent um, purchase, sorry, from Winners as well. This one was $9. And then this one was $8.99. I don't decorate a lot for Easter, guys, but I, do, I don't mind adding a little, you know, little bits of easter here and there so comment down below and let me guys know what you think of my dupe of what i shared in the photograph did i nail it or did i fail it so comment down below let me know what you think i have one more look to share with you guys and it will be for the dining room table so I found a picture of the dining room table styling. It's really simple with a wine glass, with wine glasses, a bottle of wine, some plates, some napkins, and I think that is a fruit basket and a vase with some really pretty um, flowers. So I'm gonna try and recreate this look using things I have in my home. So. Let's get started and see how that turns. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know, I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know, it would mess me up. Yeah. So for my look, I added some um, placemats because my table is glass and I don't want my plates to scratch my table. And then I've added these black and white, I think buffalo check they are, plates. They are a thrifted find and I shared them in a haul last year. When I lived in Toronto, I actually picked them up from Valley Village and I've just sort of draped a black napkin and seeing that we're like, like I said, in spring, Easter, I've added this cute bunny that I picked up maybe a year or two ago, either from Winners or HomeSense. It has this really nice detailing around the neck, really cute, really pretty. And then I've sort of did more of a sort of a modern black and white take on my look. So I've added this DIY vase with a greenery topiary ball, I would say. Um, we're just gonna pretend like there's wine in this bottle, which we just finished up on the weekend. My boyfriend and I, we had some of our friends over to just celebrate my birthday, which was a little late, but anywho, we did celebrate. It was really nice. And keeping with the champagne flute theme with the bling around, I've added these two glasses. And in that picture, they actually poured half of a glass of wine. I'm not going to do that because it's like morning time. I'm recording this and I'm not going to be drinking. And then there I've added a pop of color. And this is a DIY vase I did. You guys will probably see that in a video before this. I'll share where I got it from and um, 
um, the DIY process of what I did to get it to this color because it was a different color when I purchased it. And I've added um, some color florals there as well, just like what you see over on the credenza. That's from Amazon. And then in the back, they had a really um, tall white vase, a white vase with some tall florals. And in my background, I have this black vase sitting on this cute little table that I um, got from HomeSense. It was a nesting table. It comes with a bigger one. I ended up just purchasing the smaller version. It's on a white little full fur rug. And this was actually gold. As you can see, the gold is still in the middle part where the mirror is, but I actually spray painted it black. I have a black vase with a bunch of um, palm leaves. So that's sort of like my background that I'm using to duplicate what's in the picture. But yeah, this is my look. Let me know if I nailed it or I failed it, nail or fail. But I think I did a really great job of creating and duplicating the look from the picture. I really enjoyed this, guys. And I think um, this is going to be like a little series that I'll be doing where I'll be recreating looks from all of my coffee table books that I have and bringing and sharing with you guys. I have one more look for the credenza that I'll be sharing with you guys. I'll try to find it in the book, but it's the second look of how they... Um, recreated a bar cart styling but something a little bit more simple I find the one in the picture which I shared this first look it's more of a sort of eclectic I find it very whimsical because it's very colorful but this was my take on it so I'm gonna recreate another look and share another credenza styling with you guys so here is the second look that I was telling you guys about. It's a lot more, you know, more simplistic. And um, I'm going to use things that I have to create this look. I don't have a black um, tray, so I'm just going to use the tray that I currently have right there and sort of recreate this look. They have a little tiny vase with um, the face on it. You can actually get these little vases from Amazon. I saw them on Amazon with the little faces. Um, if you like that kind of look. But I don't really like, you know, too much decor with faces staring at me. And they've added like picture frame, you know, some alcohol. Um, some kind of vase with something inside, some really small glasses. So I'm gonna recreate that look, which is a lot more simple and probably more of my style and share with you guys. Yeah, yeah, one more time around. Everything's slowing down, can't control it. Say that you're for me Right now I need loyalty It's hard for me to trust you I've been in before this I've been through the troubles It's hard to let you in I've been giving you the run around I double on the doses I don't need emotion, no. Right now we young and we dumb and we lit Been thinking that before when we was kids, yeah I was caught up in the mist, yeah. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me duplicate and recreate these beautiful looks from the coffee table books that I have. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, double tap your post notification bell. That way you'll get alerts each and every time I upload videos. Yeah, so I had so much fun guys. I hope you did. Please like, share this video with a friend or family. And if you want to see more videos like this, 
comment down below and let me know this was amazing the first look was really whimsy and you know really colorful and playful and it had a lot going on but it still looks so beautiful and this look is really more simple to the point um sort of modern for me because i've used a lot of black and white so yeah let me know what you guys think um here on my channel i do lots of diys decorating cleaning organizing cooking and you know now i've added something a little different to the channel that i'll be sharing with you guys on a regular basis so let me know um i love you for watching have a beautiful and blessed day and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys